ripoti kuhusu uwiano wa kitaifa umeorodhesha kaunti sita nchini kuwa kwenye hatari ya kutokea kwa ghasia wakati wa uchaguzi. Ripoti hiyo ikiorodhesha kaunti za Nairobi, Nakuru, Kiricho, Kisumu, Wasingishu na Mombasa kuwa na kiwango kikubwa cha uwezekano huu. Kama navyotueleza gateta Njoroge, wa Kenya hawana imani kubwa na tumia uchaguzi, idara ya mahakama na ile ya polisi. Sote tusameani si waislamu si wa Kristo. Huku zikiwa zimesalia siku sitini na tisa kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu, tume ya uiano na maridhiano imetoa ripoti ya hofu ya kutokea kwa machafuko. Baada ya uchaguzi huo, swala ambalo wanasema linapaswa kutafutiwa suluhu la haraka. Kulingana na ripoti hiyo, kaunti za Nairobi na Nakuru zinaongoza miongoni mwa kaunti zilizo katika hatari ya juu zaidi ya kushuhudia machafuko kwa asilimia themanini. Kaunti za Kericho, Kisumu, Wasingishu na Mombasa zinafuata kwa karibu na zaidi ya asilimia sabini. Kulingana na tume hiyo, Maeneo hayo yako hatarini zaidi kutokana na idadi kubwa ya watu, ugavi wa rasilimali, magenge ya wahalifu, matamshi ya chuki, taarifa za uongo, mzozo wa chaguzi za mchujo, mizozo ya hapo awali na mipaka. The serious factors are, are, are things that do not so much relate to the action itself, the underlying, the state of the economy for example, okay? That is not directly released to the to the election but it will affect the peace and the, and the security of the election kaunti hizo zinafuatwa kwa karibu na kaunti zingine 11 zilizo katika hatari za wastani zikiongozwa na Narok Marsabit Laikipia Lamu na Baringo this study was done between January and April so things could have changed today so for example the counties which will move to medium high risk the counties which will move to high risk for example i can tell you if you use the same study we did and look at a county like homa bay homa bay will move to a high risk very quickly tume hiyo pia imetoa sababu ambazo huenda zikapelekea kutokea kwa vurugu wakati wa uchaguzi na baada ya uchaguzi the political parties leaders should take charge of their supporters because supporters of our political process are probably the one who are likely to be triggered to cause violence if really we have a people who can be so easily manipulated and they can be organized to be violent and actually accept to be violent this is the biggest problem that we have swala la ukosefu wa amani na taasisi kuhusika pia linachangia kwa hatari hiyo huku asilimia 32 ya wakenya wakisema kuwa hawana imani na tume ya uchaguzi asilimia hamsini na tano haina imani na idara ya mahakama huku asilimia sitini wakiwa na hofu kuwa polisi watatumia nguvu zaidi katika uchaguzi huu we have adequate strategies which emphasize on multi agency approach and which we have confidence i want to assure the citizens of the republic of kenya that the 2022 general elections shall be delivered peacefully kwa sasa tume hiyo imeweka mikakati ya mazungumzo ya amani kote nchini kuzuia ati ati hii huku idara tofauti za serikali zikiweka mikakati ya kuzuia machafuko ya baada ya uchaguzi jukumu ni kwa kila mkenya kuhakikisha kuwa anadumisha amani gatete njoroge runinga ya citizen kaunti ya Nairobi